Hello everyone, welcome to Breath of the Wild. We now have the map of the Ridgeland area. And wouldn't you know it, the Ridgeland is actually where one of the memories is. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that. But before we do that, uh, I mentioned that I was going to do the Thundra Plains here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my Thunder Helm that I am lightning proof. And let's go. Go ahead and fly right on over there to the Thundra Plains. Or Thundra Plateau or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. We'll find out when we get there. Because <laughs> this is a shrine. This place is permanent thunder. You will get absolutely no um, lack of thunder here at all. You who reach this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Alright. So here's what we got to do. I'll go ahead and stasis that. Don't think that's going to be enough. Should be lightning proof, so let's see. <laughs> Blam! No damage. Um, so where did that land exactly? Right at my feet. That's unfortunate. Alright, so that didn't work at all. Alright, well I was trying a new strategy, but it didn't work. Um, even though I am thunderproof, I'm going to go ahead and put away my elect my metal equipment because I don't really need it right now so but if we get struck by stray lightning the thunder helm will still help so I will keep the thunder helm on through this I very rarely get struck by stray lightning it seems like that's very very difficult to get struck by the stray lightning usually just strikes in a random spot next to you and never actually strikes where you're at. <laughs> so. Alright. This I know will work. So. Go ahead and use the spear. Get all the way to red. There we go. Got it. Oh, there's this orb. If I can hit it. That would be great. People exposed, badly damaged. Got it. Cool. Now we just gotta do the same thing. <laughs> It's actually fairly easy to get through this trial. Like at first I was confused because I'm like, how do I get these up there, you know? But then I was like, oh wait, I have stasis. If I use stasis, I can like, you know, knock items and send them flying. So then I gave that a try and I was like, okay, that is clearly the answer to it. Bing! That should be up there now. Now the trick is, I think the other two orbs are up there. So now I have to actually get up there myself. And this is where climbing comes in. There is a way up without climbing. But I want to see if I can climb since I have the climbing gear. 
Now that I've kind of learned how to climb in the rain by jumping at opportune moments. <laughs> cool. There you go. I just climbed up. I've kind of figured out the rhythm to climbing in the rain, so that's pretty cool. And now comes the really hard one. Never mind. I was like, that one's way the heck up there, so it's real hard to hit. All right, now we just got to find the marks and line them up. This one is green. So I can just drop this right in. Oh yeah, to uh, make it more difficult, there's this rusty claymore here. Wham! I'm sorry, I love the fact that I'm lightning proof. <laughs> I'm totally just enjoying it far too much. <laughs> Nice shot! That was awesome shot. Just right in the friggin' hole. Actually, the last time I did this, I goofed. Like, I threw them in, and somehow they just didn't have enough roll to actually go in the holes. Yeah, see? Just like that. And so they would do this. They would just hang at the edge. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's in, right? Nope. So I was very confused when I threw all four in and the shrine didn't appear. But it was actually just like that. Now this is not a blessing shrine. As I was surprised to see when I got into it. This is like a full-on shrine here. If I'm remembering right. Because even though we did the Trial of Thunder just now. The trial is actually inside. There's also a trial inside. Yeah, I just called it that because I thought it was an interesting name. I didn't realize that was the actual name. Toyasha Shrine. I mean, we're going to find out if I'm right or wrong. I know that there is one point where I did this big trial. There was something like that. And then it was still a trial on the inside. I was like, really? I was very surprised. So, yep, this is it. Buried Secrets. I was right, it was this one. Cool. This one is deceptively easy, actually. Like, it looks it's like, oh yeah, I just gotta... Or deceptively hard. It's like, oh, I don't know what I gotta do here. But it's really just... Blow stuff up with your bombs. You know? Bloom. Blow up everything with bombs. You know? I think that he just auto-glided there. Uh, well. There we go. I was like, um, I have a problem. But nope, I'm good. Actually. Yeah. I don't need to blow those ones up, so I will leave them. That will actually make it a little easier on me later. Grab this chest. I did have an issue with this. Yay, rubber armor. Not that I need it because of the friggin' thunder helm. <laughs> Boom! But yeah, if you don't get the thunder helm, this is where you can get the first piece of the rubber armor. Or at least one piece of the thunder of the rubber armor anyway. It may not necessarily be the first piece if this is not the first one that you go after. So Boom. I actually had to remind my nephew while he was playing that the two bombs are on separate cooldowns. He was like, I really hate this. I hate the, I hate how long the cooldown is. I'm like, you realize that you have two different sets of bombs and they're both on completely separate cooldowns. He goes, oh. That's right. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, right. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. He's like eight. So, you know. Or maybe he's nine. I don't remember. I know one of my nephews is eight. So, that's all I know. I don't know which one is... I'm thinking the one is nine and the other is eight. 
I know one of them is eight. That I can guarantee. <laughs> uh, any more chests? Yes, there are indeed. Uh, but where is the question? Right over there. Okay, well, I have to get up here to get to it then. I have to kind of glide from here, I think. Mm, nope, that's not quite high enough, actually. Hmm. Did I just muck this whole thing up? By blowing up all of the blocks? Oh wait! Duh! What am I thinking? Oh, did I lose my Forest Dweller spell? Oh no, it was my Duplex bow that broke. I do not want to use Bomb Arrows. There we go. Who needs to get up there? Oh, I can just shoot it down. <laughs> I keep forgetting that stasis is a thing, you know? Like, you can just stasis an object and then shoot it with an arrow and it moves. I keep forgetting that. It's like, oh wait, that's right. <laughs> that's all right. There we go. Now I can get another uh, stamina wheel. So that's helpful. That is very helpful indeed. Map stamped. You can step the map on your Shika slate with reminders of important discoveries. Indeed. All right. Uh, so now after it finishes raining, uh, it will clear up for the first time in who knows how long. <laughs> who knows how long this has been raining? A hundred years? Ten thousand years? Doesn't seem like there'd be grass if it was ten thousand years. Doesn't seem like there'd be grass if it was a hundred years. Maybe, you know, because the shrine activated, right? And that probably activated, like, the Trial of Thunder up there. So... I bet, the, bet that's it. It's only been like since the trial, since the uh, things, act, since the shrines activated at the beginning of the game. Does that make sense? I think you can just do that and it confuse the crap out of them. Like, wait, what? What did you do to my hiding spot? Oh no! <laughs> and I just immediately die. Seems Zelda couldn't hear your call. Aw, oh, she's too far away. I heard a key swarm behind me. They seem to have gone away though. So that's good. I was really not looking forward to dealing with that. Bang. I like to use arrows on the undead. It makes the battle so much easier. Did I get everything? Alright, I guess I got all the fat loops. Uh, where is Zelda? Holy crap. Oh, wow, she's way the heck over there. I didn't realize. Oh boy. That's a key swarm. I'm going to blow these up. I'm not going to blow myself up. Or I will. <laughs> like, I'm not going to blow myself up like Aaron Hansen. Never mind. I did not manage to hit them before they were close enough to blow up, blow me up. So, alright, well, let's get over to my, uh... Over to Zelda there. Nice! That's nice! 
That should be a nice amount of key swings. I killed like half the swarm in one shot. With them bomb arrows. I need to buy more bomb arrows actually. I'm running out. I got... How many do I got? None! That was it. That was the last bomb arrow. That's unfortunate. It's alright. We'll handle that. Train's probably still too far away. Yep. So... Let's use the running glitch. <laughs> Infinite stamina slash running glitch. Just to make this a little quicker. I don't usually utilize this glitch like this. Because it feels like cheating. And it is. It really is. You're utilizing a glitch. If I'm going to have to march through this marshland here, I would really prefer to do it as fast as possible. I know that the whole, like, Zephim Zelda can't hear your call thing will get real annoying real fast. But... Once you can hear my call, she'll come running over. She should be on her way now. Now we can just uh, mount her as we run. I have no arrows with which to uh, fire there. Forest dwellers blow. Forest Dweller's sword has broken. Sad. Come on, Zelda. Let's get out of here. Head back to the path. Just gotta find the path. The path is down there, it seems like. I just gotta go down there. No big deal. There's the path. Alright, where are we going now? Straight up that way. So we need to go follow this path here. Cool. Through the... Well, I don't know what this is. It looks kind of gnarly. The shrine nearby. What the heck? Oh, yeah. There it is. Right there. Cool. It's right along the way. It's even right along the path. I just had to make sure Zelda was going this way. Jump! Zalta Wa Shrine. Is this a shrine I've done before? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever been through this area, actually. This might be a new shrine that I've never done before. Yeah, I keep forgetting to change my gear. <laughs> just captured with the camera, I logged into Hyrule Compendium. Hunters survive at night time. Seen all, I think I've seen all of the hints now. Two orbs to guide you. Yeah, I've never done this one. So once again, another one that... Apologies if this takes me a little bit, but I actually had to figure this one out. Because... I don't know this one at all. This seems simple enough. Uh, don't use the duplex bow. <laughs> it shoots it with two arrows and sends it flying. There we go. One orb. Alright. That was simple enough. Two orbs to guide you. So this is the second orb. I'm going to guess that if I step on this, I will fling myself into the air. Let's drop this down. Or not. I kind of figured that would, like, weigh it down. Oh, hang on. I didn't need to weigh it down with that. I needed to open it so I could throw the orb in. How about that? Oh, God. I have to time it? Alright, before I go anywhere, let's check... For chests. Don't see any on this level. I don't have a uh, weapon out. 
my eight fold long blade. Wow, that does not fling you high at all. So you really have to wait till that's like almost right on top of you. No! I was on it! I tried to glide because I thought I needed to. Ow! Too early, uh, too late. Fling myself. <laughs> that was interesting. Did I get the chests? What the frick? Where's the chests? Is it over there somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. Don't fall off, Link. Night spell. I will gladly take another night spell. Is that it for chests? Alright, it's just that one. Alright, now we gotta do this again. I like it's hard to do to line up the timing. Bling! And you land right inside of it with perfect timing. That was cool. I've never done that one before. That was a pretty, pretty simple shrine though, so it didn't take us too long for me to figure out the puzzle. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That was actually relatively simple. Go ahead and skip on. 57 shrines. Now, on my file, I've done 80 some shrines at this point. But I haven't. The shrines I've been doing here, like at least that one, that was a new one. There's a couple of new ones that I've done so far that I didn't even know existed. So that's kind of cool to know. Um, oh hey, this is the Breach of Demise. How about that? Uh, I don't think I want to go further down there. I see that, uh, skull on the map. <laughs> That's a, uh, mob, uh, camp. I see that skull on the map. I'm not going further down that way. There could be good loots, but I'm really not concerned about fat loots right now. I will just keep on going along. Zelda and I, we're gonna go places. And you, dear viewer, can come along for the ride. We're gonna go all the way up to the Urch Plain up here as we make our way up to, well, actually, I need to be going this way. But that's all right. We'll go that way after the urch plane because I want to hit the memory that's up here. It is a pretty interesting one if I'm remembering which one it is. Um, so there's that. I know right where it is too. I've already marked like almost the exact location of where it's at too so i just have to actually get there looking out over hyrule castle we actually have the picture of that one i mean we have a picture of all of these but it is which one which one is it is it it's this one this one is the one that we're going to see right now so that's cool once we get there, you will see it. it is oh, hang on. Uh, how do I get down from here? Yeah, let me look at my map. I might not be able to just naturally get down on Zelda here. Nope, I am not risking not being able to get Zelda back up here. But I really don't think Zelda will even go down here to begin with. So. If I remember right, the memory is at the top of that right there. 
is outlooking the castle. Regardless of where it is, it's right around here somewhere, and that much I do know. So I will just have to look a little ways. Well, I guess not right here. There it is. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, be quiet again while you and I, both of us, <laughs> whatever, uh, watch this memory. called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Look at this! I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a frog. Eat it. Uh, I love how Zelda starts acting when she really trusts you. She really suddenly just she really just like wow, this is actually an incredible person. And as she like starts interacting with you, she really sees it. Um, I do plan. My plans are that when I get all of the memories, and I mean all 18 of them, um, I'm going to dedicate a portion of an episode or a full episode or something to the memories um, so that we can watch them from memory one all the way up to memory 18. And you can get the full effect of seeing them all in order and everything. And um, I feel like that is a brilliant idea. I, just giving me a shrine notification. It's further up that way. All right, so I can ride my horse to it, I think. I don't remember there being a shrine around here, actually. Oh, see, I could have just gotten down right there. <laughs> gotten down and gotten back up. How about that? Goodbye, bird. Dead bird. <laughs> it's supposedly a shrine around here. So let's take a look. Am I losing the signal? Am I gaining the signal? Oh, it's a stable shrine. Okay. I didn't even know there was a stable right there. What the heck? Where am I? Oh, I am real far off of where I want to be. Um, Alright, we'll come back to here then. Um... This is the place that I do want to go to. This is like where Karak Forest and stuff like that is. Um, I actually want to get over here to Karak Forest from the outside. Uh, because I can get a whole bunch of stealth fin trouts. And we will need that for the final sneaky suit upgrade. Um, but before that, um, I just want to get over to Tabantha. Um... Don't think it's gonna happen this episode, noticing the time. Um, so I think I will go ahead and wind this episode down here um, as I make my way over there. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see Dinrail along the way. 
If I do, uh, definitely we'll record that. Um, I'm not planning on, like, cutting the recording or anything. Like, I'm just going to keep, like, recording, like, right after, as soon as I'm, like, done with this episode. I'm just basically going to stop it and then start the next episode. So, you know, the next episode's in the same recording session. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I do hope that you have enjoyed. Um, if you have, uh, feel free to check the uh, video description down below for a link to the full playlist of Breath of the Wild. So that if you missed any episodes, or you know, if it's the first episode, of course, and obviously you missed episodes, if it's the first episode you saw, um, you can uh, you can get caught up on the series. You know, where are you, where are you going, Zelda? What the frick? She's just steering herself straight towards the mountain. I wasn't even like piloting her. She was literally going there all on her own. And then she has the gall to complain. Like, what the heck? You're the one that piloted yourself there. You're going on autopilot right now, bub. <laughs> All right. Well, in either case, I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. See you later. <laughs>